Previously on Paper Mario. Mario, I need to have you come to Shooting Star Summits. Maybe we can break this block with Gra Goompa's big hammer. I can see my house! Hey, we found a hammer. Prepare to start crying at the feet of Master Junior Troopa. Oh, here's an idea. Goombario. I'm sure Mario will agree. You should accompany Mario. But yes, let's go ahead and continue our grand adventure. Beware of Goombas. Especially Goombas that come out of the signs. So yes, we can actually use uh, Goombario now. He has two moves. He has Head Bonk, which is pretty much just like Mario's jump. And Tattle. We're going to go ahead and see what Tattle does. Where he basically talks about the enemy. He also gives the technical stats. 2 HP, 1 attack power, and 0 defense. And yeah, a little fun fact like that too. When I was younger, I used to be very, 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 uh, strict about those tattle entries. I try to collect them throughout the entire game, but I don't think I'm actually going to do this in this playthrough. I might do some enemies just to kind of show it off if we're going to be fighting those enemies a lot, but otherwise I'm not really going to worry about it so much. I'll probably use it a lot on bosses, if anything, just because it's always nice to see how much HP a boss has left. Just my own personal preference here, anyway. I'm not going to show off Power Jump just yet, by the way. I'm going to kind of keep that and hold that on for later. Don't really want to waste any of my FP if I don't have to. But yeah, I expect a lot of these battles to be the same, so I'm probably going to start cutting these out now. Again, I'll stop by if there's a very interesting battle at stake. And of course, whenever I'll level up, I'll probably show off that battle, too. But we still have a long way to go before we level up, so don't, uh, don't worry about that right now. Ah! No! Dang it! Well, that's what happens whenever you jump on a spike, Goomba. Yeah, my bad. I did not mean to do that. Obviously. But we can at least uh, show off the spike Goomba now. Spike Goombas are pretty dangerous because they have two attack power as opposed to one. So if you let one kind of stay around in the battle, you could be in trouble. So we need to uh, finish up these guys as soon as possible just to make sure we don't die in a very early stage of the game against stupid Goombas. No offense, Goombario. I don't mean you're stupid, I just mean you're kind or stupid. The evil kind, not, not, not the you kind. Well, thankfully we got some health back. Okay, here we have the close call badge. When Mario's in danger, enemies sometimes fail to attack. That sounds good to me, so let's go ahead and wear that badge, too. Also, yay, a mushroom. Oh god, this could be bad. This could be very bad, especially considering, uh... I could die if I'm not careful. Well, they can only do one damage, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and tattle with uh, Goombario here. Then I'm going to jump on you. This way I won't die. I will be in absolute peril, though, so let's go ahead and use my mushroom, or one of my mushrooms. And maybe I can actually survive this without dying. I will be back down to 2 HP, though. 3 HP, anyway. Ah, 
I think we will be coming up on a heart block soon, though, so we can use that to uh, restore our lost health. Thank God. Alrighty, let's keep going. Yay, more hearts. I like that. And yep, what did I tell you? Heart block. Hey, hey, hold it right there. You, yeah, you, suspicious guy. Don't move. Haha, -ha, you're Mario. I knew it. You can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot. It's a direct order from the Goomba King, that's right. I'm sorry, but the only way through is the Goomba Bros. That's me, Red Goomba, and my brother, Blue Goomba. Let's get him, Blue Goomba. Oh yeah, let's do it, my red brother. Okay, these guys are just like normal Goombas. Don't need to worry about them. In fact, I may actually use my power jump here to make these guys go like quick. Uh, they do have more health, though. So we do need to keep that in mind. I believe they have seven health. Seven or eight. I think it's seven, though. Maybe even six? Guess we'll find out. Oh, well, it's definitely not eight, so that's good. Blue! Blue Goomba! Ah, my little brother! You'll pay for that, Mario! Uh, we'll see about that. I kind of just like head bonking your face. That's fun. Well, I'm all out of power jumps now, though. It's kind of a shame. It shouldn't take too long, though. Yep, they have 7 HP. They are not threatening in the least bit, though, so... Very, very easy. Lemon squeezy. Okay, well, very quickly, let's go back so we can get our health back. Thank you. And here we have a safe point. Very nice to run into one of those during our journey, that's for sure. Okay, let's get another mushroom. It's a trap! No! Now yeah, we lost one of our health, but that's okay. Goomba King's Fortress ahead. Oh, that does look like a fortress. He was not joking. King Goomba, help us! Mario beat us up! Wah, 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 cry me a river, my god. Hey, look, Mario, see that building over there? I'm pretty sure that there used to be a bridge on the other side. I wonder what happened to it. Well, my dear Watson, let's find the case of the missing bridge. After we experience some earthquakes. Oh, God. So, Mario, it's true. You've made it this far. I respect you for that. Unfortunately, this is as far as you'll ever get. Because I, the great and powerful Goomba King, will see to it that you advance no further. You hear that, Mario? No further. Not one step. Are you scared, little man? Ha ha ha. Yeah, you're scared, alright. You want to say you're sorry? Wow, that King Goomba is really huge. I'm sure he's no match for you, though, Mario. Let's get him. Ready to meet my wrath, Mario? You better be. Okay, Goomba King may look big, but he's a Goomba. Come on now.
Hey Mario, I think maybe we ought to take out the Goomba Bros first, don't you think? They must be pretty weak since we just finished beating them up back there. I like that idea. But I kind of want to do some damage to the Goomba King too, so... Let's use our Fire Flower. Yep, the bros only had 3 HP that time, so that was perfect. Also, something's wrong with this tree. Well, that helps. Okay, you don't even freaking use your freaking head? I can imagine your head would be very painful. I honestly don't see why you wouldn't use that to your advantage. So, take a power jump to the face. And Goombario, because you've been such a big help, you can have the finishing blow. Well, there we go. We got 30 star points, and not only that, we also leveled up. Whenever you level up, you can level up three things. Your HP, FP, or BP. BP is your batch points. FP is flower points, and HP are heart points, obviously. So basically, either level up your health, the uh, amount of flower points you can use for your special abilities, or the amount of badges you can actually equip. I think I'm actually going to go for... Let's start with badges first. I know we don't have a lot of badges, but we're going to be getting a lot of them throughout the game, so... I think that'd be a good way to start. Yep, there we go, we won. Also, star piece. Anything else over here before we continue? Doesn't seem like it. Hey, a switch! Uh, Mario, good fight and all that. I must warn you, however, if you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, understand? You what? You already pressed it? Oh no! To be fair, what kind of freaking button makes a castle explode? Oh, there goes the Goomba King. We'll never see him again. And, well, that means we can actually leave now, too. Alright, let's go, Goombario. You the man, man. Uh, anything here? Nope. What about in this tree? Just a coin. I can live with that. What do we have down here, though? Oh! A super shroom! Just like a mushroom, but it heals 10 HP as opposed to 5. I approve. I approve of that. Uh-oh. I don't like you. You smell of fungus. Yeah, let's continue. Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. I report your evilness. Mario defeated the Goomba King. He's heading for Toad Town now. What? Unbelievable. What was Scuba King thinking? I used to start right to make him a king because he begged me. And Mario whips him so easily? What a wimp. Uh, Kami Koopa, you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, your vileness. I'm trying to be calm. Goomba King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter, because while you hold the Star Rod, you are definitely invincible. 
You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. That's the second time they've used that analogy in this game. Yes, yes, very good. <laughs> By the way, Kami Koopa, those star spirits recaptured don't have any way of giving Mario their power, do they? Please, don't worry yourself. Each is held separately, and each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can't save all seven of the Star Spirits. Hmm. Who's the closest Star Spirit to Mario? It's that one at Koopa Bros Fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there, can the Koopa Bros defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry. hi -ya! Here come the Koopa Bros! Uh-huh, oh yeah, we're the coolest of cool. Tammy uh. Koopa, are you sure these guys can get the job done? That Goomba King was gigantic and even he couldn't beat Mario. Pshaw! Get real, King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total Wimpola. We're nothing like him. See, what we've got going on is the power of teamwork. Sonic heroes, really? Together, we can put the hurt on Mario in seconds flat. Excellent! That's the spirit. Sell it, Koopa Bros. Show our king that special attack you do so well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody? Oh! Oh! That... that is... Oh! How'd you like it, King Bowser? How was it? Oh yeah! Excellent, really! I'm not easily impressed either. Mario will have a chance if you finish him with that attack. We'll take him, King Bowser. By the way, my Koopa Bros, about the captured star spirits, I've locked up in your fortress. Who's guarding him right now? Uh, nobody, sir. You know, uh, we're here, and so... You idiots! Use your heads! Get back to the fortress and guard that star spirit! In Bowser's defense, yeah, they were stupid, but I love the Koopa Bros. Anyway, we're back here on Goomba Road. I think we can actually find something if we go over here. Yes, we have a sleepy sheep. If it works, it makes all enemies sleep for a little while. Another one of those awesome items to have. Another awesome item to have is what you can find up here in this treasure chest. We get the hammer throw badge, a badge that allows you to use an aerial hammer attack. So we're not limited to just using hammer on ground-based enemies. It's an interesting badge. It's not very powerful, though, unfortunately, but we'll wear it for the time being. And here we are, guys. We're back in Toad Town. Mario! I'm so glad you're okay! The town is in an uproar. The princess kidnapped... The very castle uprooted, it's Bedlam. I really don't know what we can do about all of this. Please, Mario, save her highness. Well, first let me explore first. Jeez, come on. Cut me some slack here. Okay, well, there's a few things we can do around town, but nothing of major note. I'm just going to explore a few things here and there. Uh, for one, let's actually go here and pay a visit to our brother. I'm sure he's worried sick about us. I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. Oh, there he is. Whoa, Mario, it's you. Glad to see you. And you're all right. After all that castle craziness, I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as the earthquake started. So I managed to escape in time. Oh, and who are you? I'm Gubario. Nice to meet you. 
Why did I make him sound like a man? I see, great, just great. You're on an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. See, someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. Oh well, take care of Mario, okay? So Mario, what do you have to say about Luigi? He's Luigi. I don't have to say anything about him, do I? He's your brother. You know, I, I kind of expected a little more from that, but... Fine, let's leave him. Actually, I changed my mind. Let's don't leave him yet. There is actually something I want to show off here. Inside Mario's house, there is actually a very, very valuable record checker here. This keeps track of uh, different stats. How many coins you earned, badges collected, star pieces collected, some other information we'll learn at a later date, number of battles, your first strikes, and enemies' first strikes. This will give us a detailed report of all of the collectibles we can get throughout the game, and uh, we'll be referring back to this often to see how we're doing, so just felt like showing that off really quick. Aside from that, I think we can actually uh, leave now. Bye, Luigi! Have fun! Okay. Here is one of the two item shops. We can't access the other one yet. But at the item shop, we can buy these items. Uh, honey syrup, pretty good FP healing item. Pal Block is basically just like the Fire Flower, only it does 2 damage. It also flips shell enemies on their backs, so we'll see those later. Uh, we have a Sleepy Sheep, and Fright Jar is also like the Sleepy Jeep, but it also it causes fear as opposed to uh, sleepiness, so sometimes we can scare away enemies in this fashion. But one of the useful features of the shop is you can actually store some of your items by checking them in. Uh, you can only hold up to 10 items at a time, which is actually kind of lame, if you ask me. I think you should have more space, but I'm going to be storing some items in here for later. Like the Goom Nut, for example, because I'm going to have that, to use that at a later date and time. For the most part, though, a lot of Toe Town is actually blocked off at this point. We can't really uh, see very much, unfortunately. This is where a bad shop will actually be at some point, but uh, it's not open yet. Over here we have a nice little flower garden. Water and dirt, sunshine power, beautiful blooms, beautiful flowers. Hello, my name is Minty. Please enjoy the beauty of this flower garden. I've heard there's a lovely flower we don't have here. Supposedly, bulbs have the only known seeds. This is what a bulb bulb looks like. If you find a bulb bulb, could you get seeds for me? I'll plant them in this flower garden and raise them lovingly. Will do, chick. Uh, can't do much over here because the wreckage is blocking the way. Yep, of course. They're going to be working on this, and they'll have the road cleared before we know it. And then if we try to go over here, it looks like we have a bunch of uh, black toads walking our path. It's dangerous out there. I wouldn't go. Yeah, you shouldn't go. Nope, no go. Sorry, but no. Goombaria, what do you have to say? He's a funny color for a toad. He reminds me of someone, though. But who? Darth Vader! No. Okay, Toad House right here. Uh, post office. This is kind of a cool extra feature. Oh, who are you? Greetings, the name is Paracary. I deliver letters. His name is Paracary. He's a paratrooper who works for the post office. He's well known for being the slowest mailman around. A slow mailman? That can't be good. <laughs> yeah, not really. Yes, hello. This is the post office. You can read any letters that arrive for you or for your other party members. 
Please drop by now and then to check and see if you've received any mail. Well, oh, you seem to have some mail. Which one would you like to read? So yeah, throughout the game you'll get these uh, messages from other people you've met throughout your journey. Uh, usually for just your uh, partners though, so Red and Blue Goomba sent something. Goombario, you were a lot stronger than you looked. I figured you were just some punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us and you showed us that being good is as important as being strong. So, when you come back, do you think maybe we could be friends? Please say yes. We'll be waiting. Red and Blue Goomba. Aww. That's cute. You better be friends with them. Especially the Blue Goomba. He looked awesome. But yeah, for now, I think that's actually all we can do here. So let's, uh, get moving.